For the past few winters, wildlife crews have captured and collared pronghorn across Montana to learn more about their movements throughout the year. So what we wanted to learn were what their movement patterns were at seasonal times of year and their seasonal ranges, uh, whether they were migratory or non-migratory. And then were there any possible barriers to their movements? So, you know, we're using the animals to actually tell us where we could do better to manage for them. And what these pronghorns show is they can travel far between their winter and summer homes. We have confirmation from at least one collared doe that she and the group that she's with are migrating all the way up through the upper Big Hole Valley to the Mount Hagen Wildlife Management Area, probably to the tune of about 80 some miles. And it probably is one of the longer migrations that we have here in Montana. This remarkable migration crosses both private and public lands, highlighting the importance to work with all landowners to secure pronghorn migrations in the future. There's potential for us to work with private landowners and individuals to work with the different agencies for this common goal of uh, making improvements on the landscape for wildlife in full recognition of the human component on the landscape as well. And those partnerships are tons of fun. Along with photographer Morgan Jacobson, I'm Winston Greeley out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.